Now, there are some assumptions, uh, and that's the last thing I believe mathematics is very clear about. Not only about what it says and how it says it, but also about the assumptions. What exactly are the assumptions when this holds? And we all know by now what the assumptions should be, right? For integration, we looked at this additivity and differentiability of the quantity you want to explain as an integral. And those are two precise properties that are responsible for trans translating any quantity into an integral. If you don't have them, it doesn't work. Now, what is differentiation about? It's about zooming in and seeing linear phenomenon. And seeing linear phenomenon basically means that you can scale down. It means that it, it's very precise mathematical way of saying that what you experience at this scale will be exactly the same as you scale it down as much as you want. Right? So that's exactly what Richard Feynman is referring to that is very hard for us to understand. What if we take an object and chop it into pieces? Should we expect those pieces to follow the same rules, to, to follow the same laws as the big piece? What if we chop it further and further and further and take a limit? Well, in reality, at some point you will see atoms. And you see atoms are built of those nuclei, and the distance between two nuclei of two different atoms is huge in comparison to the size of the nucleus. So if you scale it down, if you keep chopping physically, at some point you will see a piece of matter here, a piece of matter out there, and huge empty space between them. There is nothing there. Right? So, so how can we even talk about this piece of material behaving the same way as that piece if that piece is, is totally empty? There is nothing there. Right? Regardless of what material is. It's just about the distance between the two atoms. So, in reality, reality is not scalable. That's the problem. That's why physicists keep working hard to understand it. But, what we do here in differentiation, what we assume, is that it actually works. And this is the fundamental assumption about using calculus and applying it to reality. Basically, calculus says that if you assume that your model can be rescaled and made any, as small as you want, under this assumption, that statement holds. And if you don't have that assumption, if that assumption is not satisfied, this may not hold. So this is one specific assumption that mathematics makes and makes very clear to you. And then, of course, from practice point of view, you may try to check what happens, right? And try to relate the consequence with reality and then conclude, well, if reality actually reflects what you predict, what calculus predicts, well, then probably this is a good model. Again, it's not realistic, right? Because you cannot scale down as far as you want, but it's a good model reflecting reality very well. 